Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY 3D Tech Deck Cam. In this episode, I want to show you guys something I whipped up. So this is a 3D printed, and it's got a little, still got a little whisk around it, uh, 3D printed mount for uh, an 808 uh, keychain camera. And the idea is what it does is it mounts on the legs of the spark. So long story short is it just kind of pops in here. You kind of got to ratchet it, and that's one of the reasons I want to do this video is to kind of show how this goes together. So this just kind of pops in here and this slides to the back. Now it will push a little bit on the, the bottom pads which is fine of the copter and it's also clear of the uh, downward looking sensors. Now this this will adjust on here because what I've done is I've, I've uh, actually made these match sort of the curve of these feet so they, they it only goes on this direction so don't think you can turn it the other way because it won't fit. Uh, if there's enough interest I'll do a, a forward looking one too possibly uh, but as you can see here now what happens is when the spark is flying um, you know it's looking backwards now before we take off into the air there's one other piece so the way I've done this is I've uh, set this up so if I set this on its side right here what we do is on each side we take and we put these little tiny zip strips which I'll have links to all this stuff below and uh, if I get my fingers in there it's kind of hard and then we just zip it and then we take a pair of nippers and we nip it off like that and we do both sides like that and then this stays on pretty solid because it does actually clip um, a little bit and so I've kind of designed it that way but it's not enough where you can fly it also if you do this this is all at your own risk you know, I'm simply showing you guys how I did something. So I do have the files out on Thingiverse. So if you want to go out there and get them, that, that's great. I put them out there if you want to enjoy them. Um, and so, again, you can kind of see how this all comes together, if you will. And um, it actually does work pretty good. And does it fly? I can say, yes, it does fly. And there will be a flight video coming. But, again, I kind of want to show how everything goes together before I get into actually showing you how it flies. So, again... Uh, this points backwards. Uh, don't make it point forwards. It, it won't fit on the legs correctly. Uh, make sure you use zip strips and um, zip strips, zip ties. I don't know. Maybe it's pop, soda. I don't know. Anyways, uh, but you also need these legs. So I'll have links to these legs below. I really like these legs. So far, they're my favorite legs because uh, uh, they match the color of the copter. They work very well. You can grab them if you need to. They're very secure on all four points. And so, I don't know. It's worked out pretty good. Now, you know, flying this, uh, there's a little bit of extra weight. Let's actually take a look at that. I'm going to pop this uh, zip strip. I should have probably did that at the front. Uh, but uh, no big worries because uh, actually I have a modified version of this on the 3D printer right now because I'm doing up another version. So it does take a little bit to pop off. As you can see here, it does, it, it does pop on there pretty good. So let's go ahead and get the handy dandy scale out. And let's get the scale zeroing. And it's at zero and we put that on there. So we're at about 24 grams with this. Um, and actually the spark deals with this pretty good, the 24 grams. And so, um, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. And again, if you want to give this a try, because one of the things that I like in the video, video production end is by having the rearward facing camera, so you have a camera facing forward and a camera facing backwards, it's kind of interesting when you do like a split overlay in your drone videos, you can see where you're going <laughs> and where you're coming from. And it's an interesting visual experience. Um, and I thought about even putting something like that in a VR goggle where one eye is actually the forward and one eye is the backwards and really kind of mess with people. But eh, that'll probably be a different video. Hey, this is video drone, right? So anyways, Hopefully you found all this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, don't forget the uh, subscribe button coming over there. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch today. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.